check out my new subwoofer. The radio really barks. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today we are out next to the 11 acre cornfield of mine in what we refer to as the Klein Pasture. The reason we call it the Klein Pasture is because that those were the owners who owned it before my grandparents. So, uh, we are out here with the 7600 as well as the Rhino Epic 4155 Batwing Mower today. Travis and I are going to be doing some extreme pasture reclamation. Travis has the Bobcat and he has the grapple bucket as well. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the mower out and through some of our paths out through the woods. And uh, it's just got to be too much. The brush has just taken over, our paths are being closed in on, and we've had enough. So we're going to be taking the mower out through the paths, the ones that I can get through anyway. And then Travis is going to be following up with the Bobcat and the grapple bucket. He's going to basically grab each and every tree, every every brush that sticks out too far, every little nuisance tree um, that's kind of sticking out or growing where it shouldn't be, he's gonna take it and he's gonna shove it back into the woods out of the way. So uh, it should be, I'm actually looking forward to having this all opened up again, but uh, it's gonna be a long day of mowing and um, just driving around. So we got the 4155 here. She's gonna be doing the bulk of the heavy lifting. And then uh, Travis is just gonna go through and. Smooth, smooth everything back off. He's got a lot of work down to do, do to do down in the bottom. Um, we have some uh, wetter spots that we want to fill with some dirt. He's going to go out and do that as well. So I'm looking forward to it. Should we get moving? Let's go. One thing I love about these mowers, they take out locust trees without hesitation. Not today! Not ever. There used to be 10 foot plus tall trees in there. And I just opened that up. This thing is a beast. It looks like a twister came through here. That's just Travis. I'm gonna back down in there and knock out some of that small brush.
Well, we're all done mowing with the 4155 and pushing back, back the brush and widening up the trails in the Klein pasture. So this machine, I was really pushing today. Um, I was trying to, I won't say I was trying to break something, but I really thought that I was going to. And one of the things that I was sure I was gonna break uh, was the light casings. So today I saw several logs just go right up. What the logs like to do, especially when they stick up in the air and you're backing up into them, is they love to slide up this and push into the light. The thing is, is that none of the lights are broken, and I don't know how. Um, I was convinced that apart from, you know, all the logs and stuff that have flung at these things and hit them, I was sure that something was going to, I would have to replace one of them. But I'm pretty satisfied to see that they're all intact. Now, what's actually surprised me, and I guess it's not really that surprising, but I didn't think that these were going to bend, uh, even though they're designed to do so. Here is the guard on the back of the mower. These guards are designed to bend to protect the mower itself. And by bending, it's kind of providing some spring, some cushion. And that way, whenever you back into like a log or something, uh, these machines, you know, you'll definitely feel it in the tractor. Um, I didn't think that I would bend them. I mean, I was looking at these lights, seeing what was hitting them, and I was pretty sure that these were the things that were gonna be broken. But the guards are bent. And that just means that they've done what they're designed to do and they're designed to protect the mower itself. And the casing of the mower is actually, the structure integ structural integrity of the mower is intact. Uh, there's really no issues with it. I mean, the front corner's up there. Um, at one point, actually at several points, I'm actually kind of surprised that the corners of the mowers are as strong as they are because it, and maybe they're reinforced from behind, I really don't know. I'll have to take a look, actually. So, yeah, they're pretty reinforced. Um, you know, these, these corners, I really expected them to bend more, but they're all intact. Um, one of the reasons is because as you drive around stuff, like trees, sometimes that corner will, let's say, hit a tree, and the whole mower, the whole weight of the mower will be on that corner and the mower itself will slide around the tree. And um, I don't know, it's just kind of another thing that, I think that Rhino really knows the areas on these things that need to be reinforced or have to be reinforced in order to kind of reinforce the whole mower. And um, one of those things is those guards. So these guards are actually easily changeable. Um, this is not the first time I've bent them and I would much rather have to replace one of these every now and then rather than having to worry about damaging the structure of the mower. So it's easily just changed, easy, easily just changed by two bolts there. Yep. And uh, both of them are a little bent, but I might just even try to bend them back into, into shape because really all they're designed to do is be a cushion. And um, these mowers are, you know, when someone builds a mower, they have to decide what's it going to be used for. And these mowers are designed to go forward. Uh, that's how they're, I think they're most, uh, you know, you're not gonna have too many issues by pulling it just straight. But you're really testing the strength of the mower by backing up into stuff. And that's a lot of what I do with this mower. And I'm actually pretty pleased to see that these are the only things that have really ever gotten damaged um, from backing up. So I don't know whether we're just gonna straighten those out or do what with them. Um, I might, might just reorder some new ones. No big deal. So with that, I'll let you all go. Uh, I just wanted to provide some comments on the mower, um, some more thoughts on it. Before it goes, because um, the end of the Rhino agreement is coming up, uh, I got some good news coming on that as well. Um, I'm excited to share some more information on the Rhino stuff, but uh, that's for another video. So I'm looking forward to that. But before these things, this thing goes, um, I just wanted to kind of talk about it a little bit and I'll probably do like another review video uh, just talking about the overall you know my my thoughts on it after using it for two years and whatnot so with that I'll let you all go thank you for watching this video be sure to check out all of our other ones be sure to like comment subscribe and be sure to check us out on Facebook Instagram Twitter and Snapchat all how farms work and if you feel like you learned something from our videos or you take something away from them feel free to just talk about how farms work with a friend you know just sharing a video really helps um, and that's really all I ask for if you enjoy our videos just share them talk about them. So I'll let you all go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.